in the van. Yep, that's right. Got back to Texas several days ago. I was able to spend my birthday with my family and friends. So that was nice. So yes, Eric and I um, had a mutual split. Neither one of us were happy in the relationship. And rather than prolonging the inevitable, we both decided to say goodbye forever. So it's been, it's been rough. Um, but I am trying to get things back in order, trying to figure out what I want to do for the future. But in the meantime, I'm going to hang out here. Um, I still have not received Dresden's ashes. We, I had him cremated in California and it took them two weeks to, to do that. And he's going to be shipped here in Texas. Um, he's supposed to be here. His ashes are supposed to be here on Monday. So in the meantime, I bought this really pretty um, urn pendant. Let me see if I can show you if my camera will focus. And on the back, I engraved his name there. So this opens up and then you pour, um, I've got a little aluminum funnel that you stick down here and you pour his ashes and it's a little teeny tiny thing, but, um, that way I can wear him always close to my heart. So, so that's nice. Um, and then my beautiful, sweet, loving cousin, Jennifer got me this beautiful thing. It's like so soft and. Um, and the, the photo is just gorgeous, isn't it? I love how the green and the black blend together. Isn't that cute? It's so sweet. I love it. Drezzy was old. He was 17 and a half. He did not make it to his 18th birthday in August. I'm not surprised. He started having issues back in the fall. And they were, um, like seizure stroke type of episodes and they were they were pretty horrible to watch um and I you know I took them to many vets we ran tests and the hard part was his blood work looked great for a senior cat a cat his age his organs were doing pretty well his kidneys were functioning even though he does have early onset kidney disease which he's had for several years but it has been managed very well with renal support food prescription so uh, we didn't have any issues with that i always thought that he would eventually pass away from renal failure but that didn't happen here it was it was the it, i don't know what it was honestly it could have been many things he could have had a brain tumor he could have I honestly do not know what it was that caused him to have the seizures and the, the strokes. But his the last night was very, very hard to watch. He seizured for off and on for about an hour or so, about, about 4.30 a.m. on March 29th. And I just basically held him and watched him take his last breath. And it was hard. So, seeing your best friend suffer like that, Dresden was my companion from the age of 23 to 41. So that's a lot of pivotal years and moments. So, yes, losing my best friend was, was very difficult. It still it continues to be difficult. I am very thankful, though, that he did not get to a point where he was so emaciated and sick and just miserable with his life that I would have to make the decision to euthanize him. 
because he was still having good days. He was, you know, he still had energy some days and he was being his normal self. So every day wasn't terrible. So there's no way I could make that decision at that, at this time because his, his blood work looked good. His, his organs were functioning well. So he, I, we kind of say that, you know, he, he went because he was tired and he didn't want to fight anymore and he didn't want to have to make me make that decision to euthanize him. So I am thankful for that. And I also, I really do want to say thank you to all the personal uh, messages that I've received over the past few weeks, um, sharing your stories about your lost loved ones and pets and I know I'm not alone in this, so I, I, I know it's hard, and coming back to the van, coming back to an empty van, without my partner in adventure, was hard. But he is no longer in pain, so I'm thankful for that. I would also like to please request that if you're going to leave a comment, please be nice. I really don't have time or energy in my life to deal with any negativity geared towards myself or or my ex-partner. And I've been through it once. I'm not going to go through it again. I will moderate comments, but if it gets too much, I will turn the comment section off. So I believed that it could have worked. I believe in second chances, but this time, in this particular scenario, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't right. So I am okay with the fact that we are no longer together. Like I said, it was mutual. I would like to move on with my life now, and I don't know what that entails to be honest with you i have a lot of options in front of me right now i have a lot of opportunities that i could seize so it's just a matter of me trying to figure out really what i want to do uh, i hope that uh, this video has answered any questions um, i'm sorry for my absence i'm sure you understand i really want my friends to know that I do appreciate everything that you've done for me and the generosity that you have shown me through a lot of rough years <laughs> on the road and allowing me to share my journey since August 2016. It has been a roller coaster. It isn't roses and rainbows and butterflies and perfectness and it isn't, and the people that try to portray this lifestyle as such are doing a disservice, in my opinion. But um, I want—I didn't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to close out. Um, I still have my email address the in the video description box below. You will find it if you want to send me a private message. You sh you may do so there. Um, I do have a photography website that has been up since last year. I haven't done anything with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it at this point because I am not sure I want to pursue it anymore, to be honest. Um, um, I will also have that in the video description as the link so you can check it out. Um, and I guess that's it for now. And uh, I hope you all are doing well out there and are being kind to one another and being patient and loving to your friends and family and even even strangers just please think for a moment try to put yourself in someone else's shoes you don't know what they're going through and just try to be a little kinder to each other Thank you, and I will see you all very soon.